night to be confused One night to speed up truth We had a promise paid Four hands and then away Both under influence We had divine said To know what to say Mind is a race away To call for hands of above One night of magic rush, the star to simple touch, one night to push and scream, and then ring. I just heard our colleagues um, speaking to the board of directors of Yama. We have seen the vehicle today and we were actually not impressed. We think we are not going to try to lick uh, Yama's ass and try to convince them to take the vehicle in production, we advise to build a vehicle here locally, start a new branch of industry, and especially start with an improved industrial design of the vehicle. We think that the vehicle uh, generates an atmosphere of like this is for uh, 50 plus and older, and it doesn't look like this is the future, and we think we need a radical, uh, a radical change in that. Uh, that was felt broadly uh, through the group. Uh, part of that approach in terms of design is mass customization. We felt that having just only one vehicle looking the same in each part, in each neighborhood is not a good approach. You should have some kind of basic design that you can adapt everywhere you would like to uh, apply it. So up in the uh, town here, where there's a lot of old people, you do a different color than you do down in, in the low-lying part of the city, where people go shop and have fun, and there you want to have a different vehicle, with a different feel, perhaps with a different amount of seats, but we feel basic concept of mass customization, you are the customer, you want something different, we can deliver it as a, as a variation on that thing. Uh, in ter we spoke also, and, and that overall, this, this mass customization and the design is a concern we have for the overall product that includes the stock, that includes the vehicle, that includes the website, uh, the, the logo, everything that is the image of um, the system. Uh, we had two uh, specific notions on the stock. We felt that the stock should have dynamic route information that you know when the vehicle is, is. Like, you know, five minutes, okay, five minutes. It's not like, oh, is there ever a vehicle going to come? Secondly, we felt that uh, the vehicle might need a small platform with a ramp so that uh, people with buggies or strollers, um, um, people with reduced mobility, all the people, can get in and out the vehicle in a comfortable way, in a fast and quick way, in a, in a safe way. That is an important condition. Then we had some specific wishes for the vehicle itself. We felt that the vehicle will benefit air conditioning, especially in a situation where in the summer can become 40 degrees hot. I'm not sure how long you will be in this vehicle. Like if you're just only for two minutes, then you don't need airco. But if that is going to be that's going to bring you from the outskirts into the city center, mm -hmm. it is a essential thing because your own car has a air conditioning. You don't want to sweat then in a public uh, vehicle. We want to have a wireless internet uh, in the vehicle. We understand that uh, part of the control is already. Um, through Wi-Fi, so why not also give someone the possibility to check email or uh, uh, to have voice uh, communication. Uh, the vehicle <coughs> is light inside, but we're not sure if there is light inside right now, you also want to use the vehicle at night and then just, yeah, you, yeah, you want that you can uh, see the other passengers and you can read your stuff. 
And we felt it was important to have forced communication because it's a vehicle without a person. We felt that um, if something happens with the vehicle or you need assistance, then you only will feel comfortable in the vehicle if you can talk to someone that will help you out, that you can communicate. Of course, having wireless internet will help um, in, as the vehicle for that communication, but the facility to be able to speak and to receive uh, spoken instruction back is very essential. Uh, it has been called Magic Car, uh, nicknamed Porty. <laughs> uh, but the first um, idea was to call it Drive Me Please. So, right? Mm -hmm. So this is actually uh, the summarization of our uh, discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. That's, uh, <laughs> very good. Yeah. I like that is something that you mentioned, this dynamic road information, I think is quite important from my point of view. I have quite open on that. Uh, driving please is maybe no driving please. <laughs> okay, but anyway, it will be nice. I think it's a nice name also. Uh, driving so, please, like the car. I know, I know, I know, I understand. Yeah. So, also, nice, nice, nice name, yeah. So, but you touch interesting things like voice communication will be maybe better if you really have this GPRS. Think about the screen inside already for uh, dynamic route information inside the vehicle. Yeah, also, yes. Yeah. But it's not just that, it's just yeah. also... Yeah. We had some discussion yeah. if you would have... Then you can also like have visual with the, with, the, with the person in, in the communication center, you know? You can see him, mm -hmm. see the person who's talking to you. Yeah, yeah. You know, something like that. You can yeah, use yeah. the yeah. screen to get yeah. the... Yeah, the idea is that I need to put the camera. We already made yeah. some cameras yeah. inside. You don't... Yeah. <laughs> We had, a similar, we had a similar discussion about, uh, and debated about it, but it was felt that force communication would do the trick enough and that um, the, added, the added value of having a face uh, to speak to you would not be the, yeah, such a big step as being able to speak. Yeah, because also when you have a camera on, so you can be very close, close zone, the people don't react. Yeah. So, so you can have a camera the op so that the operator can see what's happening. You may yeah, yeah, but, uh, you may get yeah. crazy. Yeah, but if so, someone goes inside of you and see the camera, you know, so close to you, you know, it's not so good. No, but, but uh, anyway, uh, I, I think it's a suggestion. If, if you have wireless internet, by the way, you can have a camera that sees where it is yeah. driving. Yeah. You can have, as a controller of the system, yeah. that information. Mm -hmm. you if it is not driving, you have a visual contact with the vehicle and get some idea what might be the cause of, uh, of, 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 of the brain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this, this oh. is stopped because there is a cow passing the road. Yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> a dog. Uh, no, a dog or a child, young people trying to molest the vehicle. Uh, it's something you can immediately <laughs> yeah. tell. This is the, you know why I had movies on, on this kind of thing. You know one big problem you have this, with these cars? They are so intelligent that they stop when you have someone in front. And the kids normally play, and people play yeah. with this. Yeah. And normally they mm -hmm. like to stop the car, you know? So yeah. because they know that you could stop the car. So because they, you will stop. Yeah. Uh, right now you don't make it. You know, you don't yeah. go to in the front of the car because they <laughs> don't know the guy is crazy or not. But here they make okay. it. You know, but, they make it. But if you, and at the same time, no. That if you play that trick, that uh, we have it on uh, uh, in, 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 in memory, yeah. and that we can pick out your face and we can confront you with your behavior and tell you that you should not do this. Or you can have a device that can electroshock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this time we can. We can light electroshock. Okay, everyone.